Hi physical science students, this is another short video, this time to help you uh, with the law of conservation of energy. Uh, the law of conservation of energy states that if you have a closed system, whatever energy is in that system, it will always stay in that system. Um, it might change from one form to another form, but the, the value of the energy, if you express it in joules, it will never get smaller, and it will also never get larger the total amount will always stay the same. There are different ways how to show this. Um, I wanted to demonstrate this uh, with a with couple of uh, PhD simulations. The first one is a pendulum lab. Um, this one isn't as good uh, as the second one we'll see because in here it doesn't show the values of energy. But uh, I discussed this in the lesson so I want to show you uh, a pendulum. So when I give some uh, potential energy, gravitational potential energy to this mass, so I, I raise it to a certain height. Um, this mass will now swing back and forth and as long as none of this energy goes into friction, so none of the energy is transformed into thermal energy, uh, the, the pendulum will always come up to the same height, meaning that the whatever the gravitational potential energy was when I gave it to it, it will always, uh, it will, the that value will stay the same. Uh, at any moment, when I when I stop it, you can see it's not in the in the furthest uh, left position, so it it hasn't come to a stop yet. So at this moment, it has a certain amount of kinetic energy. It has also a certain amount of gravitational potential energy. And if you added those together, you would get a number. Now, if I stop it at any point, and again I add its gravitational potential energy with its kinetic energy, uh, I get a number and it's going to be exactly the same number no matter where I no matter where I stop it here or even in the final position like right here okay uh, now all of the energy is in the form of gravitational potential energy um, I wasn't able to stop it but uh, at the moment I wanted but in this position right here all of the gravitational potential energy has changed into kinetic energy but again uh, kinetic plus potential at this point is the same as kinetic plus potential at this point or at any point uh, you know al along its its path um, so let's go let's go back into or let's go to this uh, skater uh, skate park simulation and in the simulation we can actually see the values of kinetic uh, potential energy and we can actually turn on or off the friction so we can see the thermal energy as well um, so I can take the skater uh, I can lift him up from the ground and I can give him some energy you can see the circle above him that shows the total amount I have it on pie chart right now by the way you can open the simulation as well you can play with this I'll uh, leave a link uh, in the Moodle. So I can put him on the ramp and I give him a certain amount of potential energy. Now when I release him he's gonna uh, be going down and uh, the potential energy will be changing into kinetic energy and the circle, uh, this blue circle here represents the total amount of energy. So when I release him you can see that the blue is changing into the green and back and forth but uh, no red, no friction is uh, present right now, so no, none of the energy goes into thermal energy. Just between kinetic, it's just a transformation between kinetic and potential. Uh, if we turned on the friction, and I have to switch to a different tab in here, uh, we'll be able to see um, the thermal energy. Let me just go here to a, a bar graph for a second. So here you can see how the energy is changing from kinetic to potential, from potential to kinetic, but the total amount, this, this yellow one, is staying the same. So let's go here to the to this uh, tab. Again here, let's use the bar graph. I like the bar graph. So I'm going to give him a certain amount of potential energy and release him. And again it's changing. Oh, I have the friction on already. Let me do that again. First, I'll uh, turn off the friction, so no friction. Okay, let's go. So at this moment, it's just change between potential and kinetic. You can again see the total is staying the same. Now I'm going to turn the friction on, and you will see that the kinetic and potential are going to get smaller and smaller and smaller, and the thermal increases, increases, increases. You will also see that the skater does not get as high 
uh, on the ramp anymore because of the energy being changed into potential I mean into into thermal energy he's losing the, uh, the, the kinetic and the potential well so at this point at this point all of the energy that I gave the skater at the beginning has changed into thermal energy so basically the the ramp is warmer the wheels here are warmer the air around the skater uh, has warmed up all of the energy I gave to the system has turned into uh, thermal energy but the energy is still there none of it was destroyed so you can see that the thermal energy now is the same as the or is equal to or the, the total amount of energy that I gave it at the beginning is now uh, totally in just the thermal energy no potential no kinetic just thermal <clears throat> well I hope this helps you uh, to sort of see that energy doesn't get destroyed uh, and the skater didn't have any energy at the beginning, so I had to give him some energy. See, I have to raise him to a certain height. I am giving him this energy. Yeah, the energy just doesn't appear from no nowhere. You cannot create energy. You can just change it from one form to another. And um, the total amount of energy in a system always is staying the same. We've never seen a contradiction to this in nature. Uh, the law of conservation of energy is a very important tool when uh, doing calculations, when uh, predicting how a system will behave, um, it is one of the the tools that can be applied to to anything. Um, because we see that nature is following this 